Hello YouTube, the train just went by, so you don't even have to hear the whistle. New tools. Uh, I know I've probably mentioned before, I, I, I don't do this to brag or anything. I, I like to share what I find because you might want one too. This is like $12.99. Uh, I'm probably exact. I didn't have a 20% coupon because I didn't know I was going in there, but oh well. I could have saved a couple bucks, but they had two of them left. This had the nicest pattern on the handle. It says made in India. So we may not take a picture, so we'll just do this. One and a quarter pounds. Okay, I don't like the edge on here. It's probably going to be more straighter, kind of like my shingling hatchets. You know, well, I got a line to judge by. Uh... Of course, they put, it's hard to show, they put two of those, uh, I want to show you these because you've probably seen them. There. They put two of those round metal pipe things in there for wedges. Well, that wasn't good enough. They had to drill a hole and put a roll pin. Boy, maybe one of the heads flew off and hit somebody. I'm sorry. <laughs> that ain't nice. Anyway. Uh, this is gonna have a video on this. So I'm gonna redo it. Like, like, say, when I'm when I'm done, I want this thing to be super thin up here. This is gonna be for chopping wood a lot, just as much as splitting ki small kindling wood. I have I've been using my great big giant Smith and Wesson extraction evasion thing, and the only other hatch I got this big long wooden handle. It's called like a carpenter's axe. For flooring axe or whatever. I mean, I've showed her. It's an old, old looks kind of like an old shingling hatch or something. But uh, I've showed where it's got a big old handle on it. It's way too big to be doing a little kindling wood with. So we're gonna make a nice little tool. Uh, I may groove this out. So, my, so if I want to choke up, okay. Uh, it's not bad down here. There's kind of a bump right here. We can get your fingers over it. It's not bad, uh, but this hurts. You, you, you see how thin they make this? I need to round that off with my rasp. It, it kind of hurts my hand a little bit. Uh, here. This needs to be flattened out a little more. It's just too sharp of a whatever. So it will be customized. Take the varnish off. So look for that for an upcoming project. I'm going to start on it today, actually. Okay. Let's pause. Well, first, super glue. It's only a couple bucks. Now, I have a tube up here, and I always say it. I have a tube up there I probably had open for a month. What I'm done is I wipe the tip off. I put this cover back on, and I stand it up. I never let I stand it up somewhere up on my bench, and, I, and I've had super glue last a couple months. I really have. Almost a couple months before, so. Uh, and I like it. I like this because it's good on wood. It's a kind of stick your fingers together instantly. So, it's the old-fashioned super glue I grew up with. Okay, let me pause and I'll drag in the next pile from a different store. Okay, I got with slips I can tell the exact prices on here. Now, they got these hammer handles in bins and like every store, this is a Menards. Like any other store farm, the year nothing's going to be in order. They're just going to throw it down and I dug for the best, prettiest colors and everything. Okay, this big handle is 17 and 3 quarter inch claw hammer handle it cost me let me look over my bifoc glass bifocals aren't any good it says it's for a 28 to 32 ounce hammer so up two pounds 6.99 well that's kind of spendy but i don't even know what i'm going to use it for but like i said you could cut this down reshape it uh use the wood for nice scales you know i wasn't going to pass it up now they have one in stock for the summer now this one is 14 inch claw hammer handle it's for a 24 ounce hammer it was only 349 so this is the deal of the week here people 349 i don't know where they're made they're made in usa it says there's a so i probably will not take pictures that's why i'm pausing okay and then i'll go back one more time on this and pause so you get the model number and everything. Okay, I think that's sufficient. But nice. Nice if I find another hammerhead or something. So I want to be prepared. I have a short piece of maul handle that's uh, for a maul that I'll be using on something someday. I cannot pass this up. This is an 8 inch bastard cut mill file. 
$3.99. Now I cannot pass that up. I would give a couple bucks for the handle. I think about putting the handle on the next file I'll show you. It's pretty tough looking, you know. But I like my huskies. Uh I bought them at Home Depot in a set, probably four or five years. I like my husky files. I'm finally wearing them out. But for what I say this was uh four bucks, three ninety nine. I mean, don't pass that up if you don't have a file. And we'll just pause on that too. There. Not a bad handle. The handle weighs quite a bit if you kind of balance this thing. So the handle ain't light. It's pretty heavy plastic. It's not bad. Okay, now here's the here's the one I wanted. After doing my axe with a smaller file, oh boy, I was worn out. This thing is a Craftsman. Bear with me. 12 inch, $12.99. Might be at an angle. This looks like not too bad of a file. Now, it's made in China. Husky files are made in Mexico, and that's where Nicholson brand is made. I am positive I'm right. Because I picked one up in Home Depot, Nicholson, and that's where it's made. So, why buy their brand when you can buy the other Husky brand and they're made in the same factory? But uh, We'll pause and open this one up. Let, let's get a good look at this thing, because you're going to see it in a video when I start doing that hatching. Okay, I have a spot on my bench where the two benches go together and there's a gap. So I can just stand my files that go down through the gaps and nobody's banging against them. Uh, but, like I said, here's an idea. Get this thing open like this, so you can always put it away in this plastic. Or at least, like, say, chop it off down here somewhere, so you can at least shove it in there. So, don't throw this away yet if you get one like that. I don't know. See what you think. Here, we're going to be working on this. I watch you guys' videos. Just don't do this to take the edge off your axe because I'm going to straighten this. Go like this. I like that. That was pretty fast acting, wasn't it? Yeah, because we're going to do that thing like we did to mine, but even more extreme. We're going to take this thing and we're going to make it so thin. So if you want to see another video, that's what I'll be doing. I may make it two-parter, doing the head, and then one part on just remodifying the handle. So, there you go. We'll get this one, like they say, in the can or whatever. And in the computer, I don't know when it'll be uploaded. I have some ones I need to get posted because they're way back when I was doing my antique machete sharpening and stuff. So, it, it could be a week or so or something like that. But, Depends how excited I am. Like with my axe, I post them uh, I did just this past weekend. I mean, I, I post them like the day after doing them. So, thanks for watching. Like I said, I'm not really going to take any pictures. Uh, maybe I'll just take pictures of this. I mean, a file is a file. I think I'll take some shots of this so you can see what it looks like. Just for the fun of it. It's going to be a nice little toy to play with to do with kindling wood. So, thanks for watching.